Hey everyone, Dave here, appearing in something other than a best of clip from five or six years ago. Don't get too used to this just yet. So as you may know, if you follow me on the socialized media, it's been an incredibly busy month for me because I got a second day job. Or more appropriately, a night job. Working at a farm. A scary farm. That's right, I'm a character in the Tooth Fairy Maze at Not Scary Farm. Basically, I do this. <laughs> yep, I'm a Knott's performer and some sort of evil dentist. I'm pretty much the next Steve Martin. I'm your dentist, and I enjoy the career that I pick. By the time this video's up, there's only three nights left of Not Scary Farm, so if you live in the area and haven't come down yet, please do. It's been a real blast to be part of, and I really hope I can do this again next year. However, between working four nights a week at Knott's and working the other three nights a week, plus a few mornings at the Coffee Overlords, I really haven't had the time or energy to get much work done on all the other big projects that I need to get done. In part because I keep getting sick, because apparently going to work at 6am right after getting home from the other job at 2am is not an ideal health regimen. But I've squeezed in a few productive hours where I can, and just to prove it, now $2 plus patrons can watch a brand new scene from the Blitz Travifornia. It's a little two or three minute scene from the Buena Vista Street episode at California Adventure that goes off on a tangent, as I am prone to do, so everybody who pledges at the $2 or higher level can watch that scene right now. And just a reminder, I charge patrons per scripted video, and I will give them plenty of warning before the next scripted video is released, so if you want to pledge to watch the previews and then cancel your pledge before I actually charge you for anything, I can't stop you from doing that. Obviously, I would hope that all of my patrons stay long enough to actually be patrons because it'd be nice to not have to work multiple day jobs. In the meantime, the best of clips will continue here, as will the occasional update vlog when there's anything to update you on. But for right now, uh, Tony tagged me in Oodalali's Disney Halloween tag dealio, and I managed to carve out a few moments to do this before the Halloween season is over. So let's answer some questions. Who is your favorite ghost from the Haunted Mansion? Look, I love all 999 Happy Haunts, and I could easily prove my nerd cred by choosing some obscure ghost from the deep background of the graveyard scene, but I just gotta go with the obvious, the Hatbox Ghost. It was a big deal when he came back for a real reason, and it's still cool to see him there. But if I have to choose a ghost who's present on both coasts, then I'll go with the second obvious choice, Madame Leota. Which evil Disney sidekick would you want for your very own? Does the magic mirror count as a sidekick? Because let me tell you right now, if I had an omniscient Siri who, with the right upgrades, might have the voice of Tony J, I'd find much better questions to ask it than if I was still at the top of Maxim's Hot 100. That evil queen had no imagination. No wonder she had to team up with so many other villains to take over Mickey's. What is your favorite Halloween costume of all time that you've worn? Uh, from childhood, I was Bilbo Baggins in, I want to say, sixth grade, so this would have been 1998. Uh, from adulthood, in 2010, I went to a Wootstock show in Boston on Halloween night where guests were encouraged to dress up because it was a bunch of nerds gathering for a concert on Halloween night. And uh, the guest hosts of that particular Woodstock were Bill Corbin and Kevin Murphy. So with the opportunity to interact with Rift Tracks guys, naturally I went as Zombie Wasso. Fun fact, that night was also the first time I met my good friend Matt Iannone, although we didn't actually realize we had met each other that night until a couple years later. What is the Halloween costume of your dreams? Okay, so Haley and I keep talking about how one year we need to get the whole gang together to go to Mickey's Halloween party with us all dressed up as the various people who show up in the Disneyland opening day telecast. And naturally, I'd go as Bob Cummings. Which Disney villain's power do you wish you had? Now, does Emperor Palpatine count as a Disney villain? Because I'd love to be able to shoot just a little bit of lightning from my fingers. Not enough to actually hurt anybody, but just to give a little joy buzzer shock. Like, this was a daydream I had when I was a kid in school, sitting in class while the teacher had his back to us writing on the blackboard. Just give him just a little zap. 
But if we're sticking to the Disney animated canon, then three evil powers that I think would make life a lot easier are Maleficent's ability to turn into a dragon, Dr. Facilier's ability to summon voodoo demons, and Frollo's ability to absolve himself of an internal guilt by blaming innocent bystanders for his own fuck-ups. What is the best Disney song sung by a villain? There are a lot of great ones to choose from. Uh, I stand by my claim that Gaston is the funniest villain song in the Disney animated canon, but it's really only kind of featuring Gaston. It's mostly sung by LeFou. Um, Radigan's songs are also pretty great, and I love that Vincent Price appreciated the significance of a Disney villain song. Uh, but this being my list, I'm going to give it to Brand New Best Friends, sung by two alternate dimension versions of Doofenshmirtz in Phineas and Ferb Across the Second Dimension, because this is my list, damn it! I found a brand new best friend, and it's me! I found a brand new best friend, and it's me! What is the best Disney Halloween treat? I don't usually buy snacks at Disney parks, uh, and most I splurge on a Dole Whip or maybe a jalapeno cheese pretzel, and... I haven't bought any Disney Halloween snacks this year, and I don't think I did last year, but I did look up the list of Halloween treats online, and I saw that pumpkin fudge is available, and that sounds great, so I'm gonna pretend that that's my favorite. What is the best Disney villain's lair? Tony pretty much nailed it when he said syndromes in terms of actual awesome evil lair, but in terms of a place that I wish I had access to, not for evil doing, but just I'd love to hang out there, I gotta give it to Gaston's Tavern. I mean, I'm not really a drinker, and that doesn't look like my type of crowd, but just in general, what could be more comforting than your own chair in a nice hometown pub where everybody knows you're- Oh my god, Gaston is just a younger, buffer, douchier, unmarried Norm Peterson! Which Disney villain would you want to team up with? Honestly, as a kid, I did team up with a couple of Sid Phillips's just taking apart toys and putting them back together. It was fun, and as far as I know, they weren't sentient, so yay. Which Disney villain would you not want to run into on Halloween night? Um, any of them? I mean, most of them would be pretty intimidating on a spooky night, and I'm sure everybody else is already mentioning the obvious choices from the animated canon, so... I'm gonna once again go to television animation and say Bill freaking Cypher, literal Illuminati prankster demon. Holy crap, he would be terrifying. Here's where I'm supposed to tag other people to also answer these questions, even though I got to this so freaking late that in three days these questions won't be relevant anymore. So feel free to blow this off, everyone I'm tagging. But if you feel like it, I'm gonna tag Garrett Snook, aka Il Nege. I'm gonna tag Mikey Insanity. I'm gonna tag Morgan Funder, aka The Wire, because... Every time we hang out, I tell her she needs to make more videos again, so now I'm telling her on video to make more videos again. And, uh, even though their shows haven't officially started yet, I'm gonna tag my Twitter pals, uh, Chandler from Theme Park Backlot and Mariah from Theme Park Trash. So, answer these questions, everybody, if you feel like it. And until next time, this is Dave, signing off. I found a brand new best friend, and it's me, now that I found you. Twice the evil, double goof and schmuck.